private rented properties had decreased by 200,000 um, in the last 12 months. And I think that is a combination of increased taxes with the mortgage interest relief and the changes to stamp duty land tax, uh, as well as the fact that everybody else got a capital gains tax, try that again, sorry, a capital gains tax cut a couple of years ago, except private landlords. They're layering up the legislation with local licensing scheme, with uh, the tenant fees ban, passing additional costs onto landlords. And now that we've got the abolition of section 21, whilst I don't think it's gonna be quite as bad as it has been made out in the press over the last few weeks. Um, it's just something else that's burdening landlords to the point where it's not going to become economically viable to be landlords any longer. And I think the government really needs to appreciate that all of this legislation isn't actually helping anybody because none of it is at the moment being enforced. It's why we're quite pleased with the, low, the lead enforcement authority concept where we're hoping we will get a bit more prosecution and a level playing field for the yeah. professional agents like those that are on the webinar today who will stop charging fees on the 1st of June. But we all know businesses in our high streets that will continue charging fees. What yeah. I would say on that one, we've already established good working relationships with the lead enforcement authority. It's not fair on good agents if bad agents are still charging fees. So shop them to your local trading standards. And if you don't want to shop them to your local trading standards, let us know and we will do it to the local, to the lead enforcement authority. So right. come the 1st of June, if you are aware of agents still charging fees and don't want to take action yourselves, we will do it on your behalf if you email regulation at propertymark.co.uk. Great, Anish, I want to get to enforcement in just a moment, but just before that, I'm going to combine two questions here, actually. The um, Catherine Hawkins from the Property Ombudsman, uh, just asking, will landlord fees still need to be displayed after the ban comes into effect? And Mara Anthony from Lyon, just asking, um, you know, any tips on the best way to explain the increase of fees to landlords? Yes, so, so uh, yes, the Consumer Rights Act and the fee transparency rules are not going away. In fact, they're getting more onerous. So agents will have to display all fees, charges and penalties levied on both landlords and tenants prominently in the, their offices and on their websites. In relation to tenant fees, you're actually going to need two sets of fee schedules come the 1st of June. One for the new tenancies um, that are under the ban, because there are still fees you can charge. So there is, a, you are going to still need a fee schedule for post-tenant fee ban fees. You're also going to need a fee schedule for your existing tenancies for the next 12 months. And to make things even more complicated, you're going to need a third fee schedule if you let assured tenancies, because assured tenancies are outside of the ban, but inside of the fee transparency rules. Now, again, if you are members, our, fee, our tenant fees toolkit includes two copies of the fee schedules, one for post-tenant fee ban fees, and another one which we have merged the existing and the assured one. If you're not an ARLA member, you're gonna to have to create those yourselves. On top of that, you are also gonna to need to display your tenant fees, um, so just the new fees, uh, post-tenant fee ban fees, on the portals and any third party websites that you use to advertise the property. So Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, obviously right move Zoopla on the market, any local property portals, if your local newspaper has a website and you advertise your properties on there, you'll need to put your fees on there as well. That will just be the new fees post 1st of June. Um, but in your office and on your website, you will need new existing and assured fee templates for tenants. Yeah, great. 